Hello my friendly subscribers, I'm Sarah from 190. Today is my 700th subscriber special! And guys, look at this, this is my automatic awesome fireplace firework display design. And as you can see, when I turn off the fireplace, you get all the sparks. And that looks epic. Hey guys, so thanks for sticking around and I do totally appreciate you guys liking and subscribing and sharing my video with the world. It really helps me want to make this channel grow even bigger than what already is. So I do appreciate that guys. And this is a tutorial for the day. Uh, as you can see, it's very celebrative of my 700th subscriber special and it looks freaking epic and it's very compact as you can see. Very compact and very easy to build. So the first thing you want to do is get a block of choice and get out a piston, which is sticky, and a, a redstone torch and redstone. This is pretty much all you need. And a dispenser and fireworks, of course. And a lighter. We've got a lighter. And that's it. And that's it, guys. So let's go. So I've just whacked that torch on the back of that left block with a switch on the end. Or a lever, I should say. I've broken three blocks in the front. Because that's where our dispenser is going to go. And as you can see, when I turn off that torch at the back, it will activate everything. So I'm going to whack a block on the top of that. And now all we need to do is get out our dispenser and put it down here. So to get down, I'm going to break one block and look up. That way I can put the piston... I can put the dispenser right next to the piston, sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. And there we go, so I've just blocked that up. And that's how it should look. So I'm going to do a border around this dispenser like so. And that's looking pretty pretty good. And all we need to do now is add some redstone. This piston, I mean, this dispenser right here is pretty much useless, guys. You don't need to put a dispenser there. I was just starting up here and getting some ideas. It only releases one rocket at a time. So as you can see, when I press this, it, the piston reacts, opening the door. That's part of it. So that's pretty good so far. I'm going to put some fireworks in this dispenser anyway, and I'll show you what happens when I turn it off. So when I put the fireworks in here, and I'll put a block back here, so yeah, I'll turn it on, and that opens up, and when I turn it off, the firework comes out. At first I thought that was pretty cool, but then look at that! Oh my god, guys, did you just see that? That went off on its own. Completely went. That was not supposed to happen. Oh my god. Did you? I can't believe that happened. Anyway, so yeah, this is one rocket going off. And as you can see, that one over there is a lot better. So let's make it like that one over there. Seriously don't know why that happened. They're not connected whatsoever. It must be a glitch. But um, anywho, this is how the other one works. This is much better. So instead of putting the dispenser up the top, I'm going to put one under here. This one is actually for the fire, sorry. So yeah, just put a dispenser pointing up and put a whole stack of lighters inside. That's it, that's very simple. And when I open it like this, the fire will automatically ignite. And when I turn it off, it will turn off. Anyway, so put another dispenser pointed up next to it underground. This is the firework dispenser I've got here. So I'm gonna fill that up with fireworks. As you can see, it's right next to the other dispenser. I have redstone underneath this lever going down one block and then it's going to run into this block here and as you can see outside of that dispenser I have redstone coming out of it and turning left so they're not actually connected they're trapped by one block so what happens here is when I turn this on only that side will react but when I turn it off they will both glitch out making lots of them so if you're wondering how I'm doing that is simple. So you can see on this one it's not going to work. The reason why is because I haven't put the torch underneath. So you need a redstone torch and just whack it underneath here right there and put that block right back and there you go that's how it works. So this is much better than the first design so let's fill this up here like this. And be careful here you can't fill it up with normal blocks unfortunately so get out your half slabs 
of choice and just put them down here like that and that's it guys this is a complete build and you open it up and the fire starts very compact you close it and all these sparks come out scaring the crap out of everybody who uses it and it is pretty pointless but fun guys it is a celebration episode again thanks guys for helping me get to 704 subscribers that is freaking amazing that is epical that is pretty cool I totally appreciate it guys and I'm in it for the long run guys I'm gonna keep making videos and you'll see me again probably tomorrow making new inventions and tutorials lots of coolness right there guys don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with the world catch you guys later